Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details about hot extrusion process. So let us start with the theory. So in that case of the extrusion process, so the extrusion process that we will be considering as a plastic deformation of the material. So in which the metal is subjected to plastic flow by enclosing the metal into the closed chamber and that metal it will be passing through the opening of the dies. So whatever the cross sectional of the die is being used according to that kind of metal strip is being formed. So that is the extrusion process that will be having a wide applications in the field of engineering. So in that case the material is usually treated so that it can undergo a plastic deformations at a sufficiently rapid rate and sometimes it may be squeezed out of the hole into the die. In the process of the metal assume the opening provides into die and comes out as a long strip with the some cross sectionals as the die openings. So I already told you whatever the sections it will be made onto the die according to that you have a long metal strip so there is no limitations with respect to the length of the job so you can make a solid materials or you can say hollow pipes with the kind of extrusion processes so if you want to make a c section t section i sections that will be made with the help of extrusion process I will give the little bit example of extrusion process that will be the railway tracks. It will be also made with the help of extrusion process. So accidentally the metal strip produced with have longitudinal grain flows. So in case of the extrusion process that will be classified into two manners. First one is hot extrusion process. In case of the hot extrusion process, it will be further dividing into two categories forward extrusion, or you can say direct extrusion, and second, that will be the backward extrusion, or you can say indirect extrusion process. So, according to your requirements, you will select that. Then, second, cold extrusion process. So, in case of the cold extrusion process, the first one is the hooker extrusion. Second one is the hydrostatic extrusions. Third one that will be considering as the impact extrusion. And fourth one, it will be the cold extrusion forging. So, in that theory, I will only explaining about hot extrusion process that will be having a wide field into the mechanical engineering processes. So, now hot extrusion process. So, just you can see, first of all, the extrusion process so in that case of the hot extrusion process so metal or you can say this billet it will be having a at higher temperatures so this is my closed chamber or you can say containers and this is my dye materials and another end there is a ram so just you can see these hot materials it will be filled into the container and one of the end or you can say this side the die is going to be fixed and another end with the application of ram just providing the high amount of pressure so what happens this ram it will be providing pressure onto this billet and this billet that will be traveled towards the opening of the die so this billet it will be passing through these die materials so whatever the cross sectional over that it will be having a same shape if you want to make round so just you can make the hole into the die if you want to make a hexagon product so just you can make the hexagon kind of hole into the die materials so you will get a simple extruded product i will give the little bit example we have utilized a toothpaste like that. So one of the end there will be the circular die is there and another end just we are pressing and we will have a 
product that will be our paste so whatever the cross sectional area i made with that opening so you can get this kind of extruded product so if you want to make the hollow so just you can put the mandrel over there so you can get the hollow product if you want to get a solid product so just you can make the hole so if your metal is going to be at higher temperature so it will be called as a hot extrusion process and we have already also discussing about forward and backward extrusion process so if in case of the forward extrusion process the direction of the extruded product and applied force it will be having a same so just you can see this rim it will be moving towards the right to left side this side and our extruded product that will be also having a same side so in simple way for remembering for forward extrusion process extruded product and applied force it will be having a same directions so that will be my forward extrusion process or direct extrusion process so in this process the material to be extruded in the form of the block it is heated to required state temperature and then it is transferred inside a chamber in the front portion of the chamber the die with an opening into the shape of the cross section of extruded product is fitted the block of material is placed from behind by means of rim and a followed pad since the chamber is closed on all the sides the heated material is forced to squeeze through the die opening in the form of the long strip of the required cross sectional area so that we already discussed the process looks simple but the friction between the material and the chamber walls must be overcome by suitable lubrications when extruding steel products the high temperature to which the steel has to be heated makes it difficult to find a suitable lubricants the problem is solved by using molten glass as a lubricant in case of the steel metals when lower temperatures are used the mixture of oil and graphite is used as a lubricant at the end of the extrusion process a small piece of metal is left behind in the chamber which cannot be extruded this piece is called butt and strip and it is throw away it will be considering as a so just you can see the figure for a extrusion that will be used to make a hollow component or you can say tube or pipe so just you can see this is our container or you can say cross sectional area of the extrusion process so container in that container there will be a die with a mandrel mandrel just you can see it will be placed into this extrusion process so with the help of these mandrels it will be used to make a hollow component and from here that will be the work billet or you can say metallic material is being filled into the container and with the help of ram it will be providing a velocity or force towards the die opening so due to that this work billet it will be passing through this die with this mandrel so according to that shape of the die and the application of this mandrel it will be converting into desired shape and size so here extrusion process it will be used to make a hollow component like that so just you can see to manufacturing a tubular rod a mandrel of the diameter equal to that tube bore is attached to the ram so this mandrel passes centrally through the die when the material is extruded if you not put that kind of mandrel in this so it will be having a road or you can say solid components is being formed if you want to make a hollow so just you can fit the different shape of the mandrels but here that will be the pipe or tube so just you can make a circular shape
so the outer diameter of the tube produced will be determined by the hole in the die and the bore of the tube will be equal to the mandrel diameter the extrusion process will called a tubular extrusion process after this in case of the hot extrusion process now i will discussing about indirect extrusion process or you can say backward so in case of the direct extrusions the pro extruded product and applied force it will be having a same directions but in case of the indirect extrusion process applied pressure or you can say force and extruded product into opposite directions so just you can see the figure of the indirect extrusion process this is my container this is the billet and this is my die and along with this die this is the ram kind of components so by applying the pressure with this and with respect to die so die is being moving so another important difference between direct and indirect so in case of the direct extrusion process die is fixed component but in case of the indirect extrusion process die is also moving from one end to another end so in case of the applied force or pressure from left side to right side just you can see this way and this die it will be moving from one place to another place like this over here so what happens this billet it will be passing from this die opening so the extruded product it will be in this direction and applied pressure it will be in this directions so both are having a opposite directions so it will be my indirect extrusion process or you can say backward extrusion process so as the figure shows the block of the heated matter is inserted into the container or chamber so this is container and chamber it is confined on all the side by the container walls except in front so from respected this three side it will be packed and only the one opening is there and with the die where the ram with the die presses upon the materials that we already discussed as the ram presses backward the material has flow forwards through the die openings into the die the ram is made hollow so that bar of the extruded metal may pass through it unhindered this process is called backward extrusion process as the flow of the material is in a direction opposite to the movement of the ram so basic difference between forward and backward extrusion in case of the forward extrusion process it is a simple but the material must slide along the chamber walls in case of the backward extrusion process the material does not move but die is moves second important difference in case of the forward extrusion high friction force must be overcome in case of the backward low friction force are generated as the mass of the material does not move in case of the forward extrusion high extrusion force is required but mechanically simple and uncomplicated in case of the backward 25 to 30% less extruding force are required as compared to direct extrusions but hollow ram require limited applications in case of the forward the high scrape material waste is around 18 to 20% on an average in case of the backward low scrape material waste only 5 to 6% of the billet weight so i hope you can understand this if you like this then subscribe and share more the mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching